Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Honored to be connecting in with you and excited to be starting August. My goodness, August already (laughs) with all of you. I hope that as you're taking a breath and connecting in, slowing down just for a moment so that we can connect in heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit, that you are just sitting there taking a moment to breathe. I find when we make this shift and we start shifting into August and September and October, there's this acceleration that happens. And I think it's so important that we remember to pause, to be mindful, to be purposeful, to uh, take care of ourselves, to be mindful and purposeful in what we are saying yes to, what we're saying no to, what we're maybe taking off our plate instead of just continuing to add on. And it's really important when we're looking at shining in our life, when we're looking at really stepping powerfully into center stage, that we build a regular practice of checking in, a way to be poured into so that we can be filled up too as we go out into the world. So today is an opportunity for you to be poured into. I hope you feel that support. I hope you receive the support. I encourage you to connect in fully mind, body, soul, and spirit. We have two amazing guests that I know are going to inspire, encourage, and empower you to shine fully in your life. So you've got a great support team lined up for you today. So all you need to do is to choose to be present, to be open and ready to receive. In fact, let's take a moment and connect in mindfully and purposely. Take a deep breath in through the nose. All the way to your toes. And then out through your mouth. Like through a straw. Beautiful. Keep taking those deep breaths. Close your eyes. You're absolutely safe. And just feel that breath flow in and out. There's something so powerful about slowing down and breathing. It helps lower our stress levels, our cortisol levels. It helps bring us present. It helps us release what no longer serves and breathe in what does. And taking a moment to put both hands on your heart and closing your eyes, it kind of tunes all that distraction out and gives you a moment to feel into your heart and the heartbeat. And as you're doing that and breathing, what is it you need today? What is it that will encourage, empower, support you to shine powerfully and beautifully in your life taking center stage that this is the main event it's not a dress rehearsal today counts it matters what do you need today to fully show up share who you are and shine just feel in great receive that information let's take another breath Come back into the rooms, eyes open, fully present, beautiful, and take a moment and write down what was laid on your heart, what it is that you need and are willing to receive because you have a choice there. (laughs) So what is it that you need that you are reminded of that you felt? And it's great to check in. Are you willing to receive that? Are you willing to be unattached to how, but in fact are looking forward to being surprised at the wonderful and amazing way that need will be met or move forward. So you're leaning in with anticipation and excitement. Beautiful. So keep that page in front of you. Keep it top of mind throughout our time together today, as well as when you go back out into the world. It's great to remember what it is you need and to be on the lookout, ready to receive, to be surprised by the support that you get around whatever it is that you were reminded of. When you took a moment 
to stop, pause, breathe, and listen. Beautiful. We're going to go around our virtual show or showroom here, and as we do that, I'm going to check in with each of our guests and just have them share 10, 15 seconds what was laid on their heart when they took a moment to stop, pause, and listen. So with that, Jane, I'd love for you to start. What was laid on your heart? Yes, yeah, thanks, Rebecca. You know, I th- what came to me is just that I I need to enjoy how fortunate I am to be doing what I love and making the impact that I am. And I think it's just so easy to get carried away with thinking about what's next. And so just enjoying the present. I love that. And I breathe that in. What a great reminder for all of us to enjoy the present moment. Enjoy um, what we're doing and where we are. Um, Because you're right. We can get distracted on the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, or where we're going. (laughs) And we can can miss (laughs) You know, being being in the moment, so and appreciating it. So I love I love that share. Thank you. Thank How you. about you, Leslie? Absolutely, Leslie. What was laid on your heart? Yes, more time, <laughs> more time. I was breathing with you. I was I was being present and breathing. Um, more time for doing nothing. Um, mm. You know, I have this really good balance of work and pleasure. And yet, I really am feeling a desire for more silent, do-nothing, stare-into-space time. Mm. I love that. I love that you are hearing that and you're open to to bringing that in. That's so beautiful. And, and already having a nice balance, but noticing there's this, this cry or this call for more. Um, and and exploring that and leaning into and listening. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I like that, the do nothing time. And that, to me, is a, I'm a doer. (laughs) And I like to make a little list of of what I'm going to accomplish in each time allotment. So I love that, um, you know, openness to doing nothing and to just being um, and having more time to do that. And I think that's really, really powerful. And it sounds so lovely as you're sharing it. And I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling that. So really, really beautiful. And I think it's a great thing for our listeners to think about, you know, what, what are you feeling? Because sometimes we get caught up in doing what we've always done. We just do more. <laughs> and we sometimes forget to evaluate the pace and the rhythm and what we are doing is that continuing to be in alignment or is there something more that is um, being asked for or we have a desire for and then how do we create the room and space for whatever that more is um, so I love that important reminder that we're looking at those things and I think it's an important time of year as we're in August we're getting ready to shift into the fall and the end of the year that can move even faster so great time to be looking at these things and creating room and space for them while Jane not forgetting while enjoying where we are too (laughs) at the same time (laughs) so beautiful insights and things to get us started today we're going to go to our first commercial break and as we do that listeners I want you to think about these things that Jane and Leslie have shared and I've shared and really take this time these two minutes as those beautiful commercials play in the background to feel into what your heart is saying, what your spirit is saying, what it is that you need more of or less of, and really receive that information. And we'll continue our conversation in just two minutes. Become our friend on Facebook. Post your thoughts about our shows and network on our timeline. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America. Explore the poetry of Sam Yao. His book of poems, Soul's Journey, is a number one international bestseller. Sam is a contemporary poet with a unique and highly relatable poetic style to convey the essence of spiritual truths for our time. Readers will find beauty, inspiration, and healing in his words. Get his book, Soul's Journey, today on Amazon.com or visit SamYaoPoetry.com. That's Sam, Y-A-U, Poetry.com. 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that moment to pause and breathe. We were connecting behind the scenes a little bit and had a nice little space there where we could just breathe and connect in as well. So while you're pausing and breathing, we are as well (laughs) behind the scenes. And it's an opportunity for us to stay fully connected um, to ourselves respectively and to each other. So welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that pause, that opportunity to listen and process things on a cellular level. I'm really excited to formally introduce our first guest. I know you're going to love her. And she is talking about one of my favorite subjects. So I'm very excited (laughs) to have her joining us. So Jane Elligard is someone who empowers women to show up and own their financial journey with courage, confidence, and wisdom. With over 34 years of experiencing managing wealth for high network and net worth individuals and families, she has just a wealth of experience, both real and certifications and experience that you get in that role to really know what it takes to own your financial journey. She is a published author, a coach, and an expert that is committed to empowering women on their financial journey. She is passionate about helping you learn about money in a way that is positive, empowering, and fun. Please lean in and warmly welcome the dynamic and fun Jane Ellinger to the show. Welcome. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so delighted to be here. (laughs) <laughs> I'm just thrilled to have you here, and I was a, a financial advisor for a lot of years, and I really enjoyed the empowering part of that, really empowering people around money, and so I'm just so thrilled to have you on the show today to talk about this subject because it's not everybody's favorite subject, yet I find there's so much curiosity, there's so much mis understood information and people really do want to talk about it they just want a safe place to do that they really do want to be empowered on their journey and their relationship with money and wealth so um, just again thrilled to have you joining us excited to hear all that you have to say and to start our conversation I'd love to know why why is this work and helping women in this way personally so important to you Well, Rebecca, I, during my 34 years working with individuals and families, I observed a gap in the education that really everyone um, has received, but in particular women. Um, And I thought regardless of wealth level, age, background, and I really wanted 
to help women understand this area of their life better because it really does impact and intertwine with every aspect of your life. And I just thought it was important for women to start to understand this and, as you said, have a safe place to talk about it. Yes, exactly. Um, Well, thank you for leaning in to fill that gap, you know, observing that and taking that um, opportunity to help uh, bridge the gap and and really support women um, in this way. So I appreciate your recognizing that and your willingness to step in and and lend a hand uh, so powerfully. In particular, why is it important for women um, to be empowered financially and in their financial journey? And in doing so, does that help them or is that important to help them shine? Well, when you build confidence in this area of your life, it really seeps into every other area and it creates more confidence, you know, in your relationships, in your career, in your community. And so you you can make a bigger impact and a bigger difference if you understand your financial situation personally. You know, it, it brings you, you know, freedom, it brings you choices, it brings you security when you understand it. And so, again, you know, you talk about, you know, career goals and life dreams. And I think having financial savvy really does help you make better decisions around all of those different areas. Oh, I'm I'm curious about this because that absolutely makes perfect sense to me and, and um Having knowing what to do with it, how to navigate the waters um, is empowering and, and can lend confidence. And then you know how to navigate and you know where you're going next and how to, to step more powerfully into those gene, uh, dreams and really have um, your financial picture be part of it, not a separate thing. Do you find that's an easy step for, for people to take or is there some resistance around um, talking about the numbers and really getting familiar with it. I'm, I'm curious what your experience has been in that. Oh, my gosh. There's a tremendous amount of resistance. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, and that's, why, that's why I'm here. Uh, yep. There is a lot of resistance. I think, you know, I created in my book, I talk about the six pillars to financial empowerment. And the first pillar is all about money, values, and beliefs. And it's the first pillar for a reason, because I think it's really foundational, and Mm -hmm. yet it's something that we don't rarely, I shouldn't say don't ever, but we rarely stop and think about or talk about. And yet those money messages that we heard growing up really have an impact on how we approach money today as adults. And so taking the time to reflect on that and understand that better and, you know, and to having conversations with loved ones as to you know, why they approach money potentially differently than the way that we do. I mean, money is, the, you know, one of the number one topics why couples fight. And mm-hmm. so I think going back to the basics and really understanding those money values and beliefs and what you want uh, your legacy around that to be going forward with your children and grandchildren is really valuable. But yes, people are very reluctant to talk about it. There's a lot of shame around money. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a lot of it or you have none of it, there's shame around money. Yeah. And thank you for sharing that. I think that's interesting too, because I think people have a a perception in their mind, either a lot or less would make it less complicated (laughs) or make it easier (laughs) or more comfortable. So we're busting that myth (laughs) that it doesn't really matter the amount. The money stories are there. And I'm curious, as you work with people going through pillar one that you just talked about a little bit, um, do you find they're surprised or maybe there were some things they were telling themselves about money they didn't even realize um, were driving some of their decisions or beliefs around it? Absolutely. There, you know, the limiting beliefs that we have, I mean, really do hold you back from achieving the success that you want to. You know, I've had women say that you know, they grew up being told, you know, money is bad. And, mm-hmm. you know, if you had money, you were greedy or you were evil. And so trying to break that 
And, you know, it was almost like a badge of honor, I think, for a lot of these women. They saw their parents not have money and, you know, doing, you know, they were maybe teachers or they were doing really good work and really good things, but they weren't getting paid very much. And that was like a badge of honor that they were doing good in the world. And yet, you know, trying to help women understand that by having money, you can also do a lot of good in the world and have a greater impact potentially because you have money. And so trying to turn around that mindset um, is really important. The other one that I hear a lot is, mm-hmm. you know, my mind uh, or my brain doesn't do math or I'm not good at numbers. And so, again, they think that they aren't capable of understanding the financial aspect of their life, and yet they are. They're very capable. Women are so smart and mm. capable, and they can learn anything that they want to. But, again, that this is something that they've been telling themselves for years, and so it's really hard to unpack that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that because I think, again, it's and we don't talk about it. It's uncomfortable sometimes. And yet these beliefs we have around money are driving us and can be limiting us or they can be supporting us and they can be creating conflict. They can be creating things that matter to <laughs> us. And so really, um, I think, one, being aware of that. So I love that you have that as pillar one. Um, but two, that that we can shift our belief around that and our interaction around that is is really, really powerful, too. So as our listeners are leaning in <laughs> and exploring this with us today, um, do you mind sharing a lesson you learned uh, about finances just kind of along the journey that might serve our listeners as they're exploring these things with us? You know, I, mean, I think one of the best financial decisions I made early on was to contribute to my 401k plan at work, you know, at the Mm -hmm. very beginning of my career. And that has had a huge impact for me in being able to, you know, watch that grow and allow me to make this, um, this move into being an entrepreneur and being able to follow my heart and my passion. And so I really encourage people to, you know, think about that early on, But the other thing that I always want women to know, because the question that I get a lot is, well, you know, it's too late for me, right? I I, I can't, Mm. you know, I can't go back. And it's like, no, you can't go back. You're never too old and you're never too young to start to work on this and think about it and make good decisions. So you can't change what you've done in the past, but you can change how you move forward. And that really is the key is to start thinking about it right now. And, you know, be inspired to take action and start making good decisions around your financial situation. Beautiful. I love that. Um, so sometimes we'll talk about this and how, how we're living our life and the story, you know, the, the past chapters are the past chapters, <laughs> but we can continue to write the chapter today and, and going forward and, and we get to choose how, how the story ends. And, you know, it's the same thing with our, our finances and um, getting support now and getting information that can help you make really great decisions with where you are now and where you're looking to go. Um, So the past does not dictate. (laughs) It doesn't need to dictate where where you go. No. (laughs) Um, So that's that's so important. So is there a step today that our listeners can take to help them really step into center stage in their financial journey and their relationship with that and shine? What's a step they can take today? You know, the biggest one is to get engaged in the financial conversation right now. You know, start asking questions. Own your financial power. And, you know, there's some easy ways to do that. You know, bring up the conversation at the dinner table tonight. You know, start talking about it. Um, reach out. If you have a financial advisor or planner, reach out to them and ask them about something that you really don't understand but you've been afraid to ask. And start bringing it up with your girlfriends. Have those conversations because we learn by getting together with our friends. We learn collaboratively. And yet the one thing we're typically not talking about is money. And so trying to break that money is taboo barrier and start bringing it up. Just saying, you know, how do you, how do you and your both handle your finances or are you contributing to your 401k plan or you know how have you do you know anything about investing 
you know, start asking and talking about it because that's how we're going to, you know, propel our financial situation forward is by starting to have those conversations. And so the biggest thing you can do is get engaged in the conversation right now. Mm. I love that. So I hope everyone to leaned in, wrote that down, start getting into the financial conversation now. Um, write down that question that um, you've been curious about or you'd wondered about or you'd never understood and maybe you've been a little intimidated to ask. Write that question down. And I always think, and Jane, I'm curious about your thoughts with this too, that if you ask questions and they're not being answered, you don't feel safe and comfortable with your financial expert, then that's good information too, because they should be someone on your team that you feel supported by and safe. And you can ask those types of questions and be empowered. And and Jane, I'm curious what your thoughts are around that too. Oh, I agree 100%. If, you know, if you aren't connecting with the person that you're talking to your finances about, you know, well, first and foremost, keep asking the question, you know, so mm-hmm. ask it over and over. But I always say, you know, if, if the person that you're talking to about your finances isn't explaining something in a way that you understand it, that's on them, not mm-hmm. on you. And so look for somebody else, somebody that you can really connect with and that you can learn from that's, that's explaining things in a way that makes sense to you. And that's going to be, that's just going to have a huge difference in how you learn. Absolutely. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing, Jane. I just, I so appreciate the time, um, the subject matter, and uh, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. I know the time goes so quickly. Um, Towards the end of the show, we'll have an opportunity where Jane will share how you can go deeper and connect with her. So stay tuned and enjoy these next two minutes just for you. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. It's time to serve, learn, change the world. Tune in each week for the power of young people to change the world. Hosted by NYLC CEO Amy Muirs. The program is a forum for both young people and the adults who love and support them. We make connections with others through stories of change, partnership, and new perspectives of issues facing the world today. Be sure to join us every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time or anytime on demand on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, an opportunity to pause, breathe, 
and receive. And especially when we're talking about something that can be so charged around money, um, we can have these feelings come up. So I think it's great to have this pause and um, just be open to receive and process and then release what no longer serves and write down a few things that can support you to bring forward those things you're wanting to bring forward in that area. So you're going to have opportunities throughout our show to do that. I encourage you to take those moments to stay present, to receive, to process. Uh, You will find that instead of adding all these things to to your to-do list, they actually start to become part of you and you embody them as you step back out into the world. So use those two-minute moments powerfully to serve and support you. They're built in on purpose just for you. So I'm excited to introduce our next amazing guest. I know you're going to love her too um, and her energy and her spirit. Um, every time I talk with this this guest, I just have a smile on my face. So I hope you I hope you knew that, Leslie, as I'm about to introduce you. We always bring a smile to to my face, lift my spirit and um, brighten my day. So you have um, a special gift gifting in that area. So Leslie Zan was awarded the National Speakers Association highest honor of becoming a certified speaking professional. She has presented to over 100,000 people around the world. She inspires and empowers them to achieve their full potential and live their best life. She's a number one international best-selling author, an in-demand speaker with over 30 years of professional sales experience. She's a powerful keynoter and expert trainer and motivator. She is passionate about helping you claim the life you deserve. Please lean in. Warmly welcome the powerful and inspiring Leslie Zand to the show. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, Rebecca. It's always a pleasure to be with you. <laughs> well, I'm thrilled to have you joining us today. I'm excited about the conversation and I'm really excited about the um, unique angle and perspective you're, you're going to bring to our conversation today. So I get to, listeners, I get to see some of the subjects that we're going to be talking about. So you're in for a treat. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, have your, your pen ready to take some great notes. Uh, I know you're going to be inspired by all that Leslie has to share. And to start our conversation, I'd love for you to share why is the work that you do inspiring people, helping people in the area of sales and business and living their best life. Why is that work so personally important to you? Well, I've been a salesperson most of my life. Um, it's, It's just the work I'm here to do. I mean, if we're fortunate enough to find the work we're going to do and recognize it and then hone our skills and pursue it, then that's just been my journey. Um, I've just had too many times in my life where I wasn't living up to my full potential. And through those lessons, through those experiences, through the hardships, and then through the achievements and the successes, I've just become so passionate about not only living up to my best potential, but through my glorious profession of being able to work with marvelous people, salespeople, courageous people who are entrepreneurs and wanting to build something of their own and being able to work with them and and just using my personal stories and my personal passion to help them rise to their highest potential. And it's truly just my my calling coming out in just a really cool, wonderful way, Rebecca. Mm, I, I love it. I was reflecting on how um, we're talking about everyone's favorite things today, <laughs> money and our relationship with it and sales and our relationship with that and um, building building those things that matter, that these are actually powerful, positive things to learn, to 
um, be comfortable with to actually be celebrating like you are. It, it's it's so exciting and and powerful. So listeners, I hope you are, are feeling that as well, and to really claim that and own it and. One of the things I know you specialize in is helping um, take things kind of to the next level. So entrepreneurs, um, helping them grow where they're wanting to grow and have that powerful, balanced life. People in um, direct sales or in the sales spaces, same thing, achieving their goals, taking them to the next level. But it's always with this joy and with this passion. And one of the strategies that you support people with and you talk about has to do with seasons. Do you mind sharing a little little bit of what that is and then we'll dig into this season a little bit yep you know it's really interesting how regardless of what company somebody's with if you're a salesperson your business does run on the seasons and I rarely heard people talking about that I felt so strongly that that's an important piece of the puzzle I even created a whole program on how to work your business through the particular seasons and what I've learned over the years is as we move as an entrepreneur moves into the new season, the one <laughs> error is the word that's kind of in my mind. It really is an error, but usually it's just from, from lack of awareness. But the error they make is they, they, they try to keep working their business the same way, even though the seasons have changed or their life schedule has changed. So, for example, we're right in the middle of the summer season. Mm-hmm. So, for a lot of people whether pandemic or no pandemic, the kids are home from school. That's normally a big change in a life schedule. Um, If you live in a place where there's winter, the sun is shining. So getting outside, outdoor activities is a real change in a life schedule. A lot of people travel or they see their family or they're playing more sports. Things fundamentally change. And I know for the entrepreneurs I work with, they neglect to revise their hours of operation or in layman's term, revise their daily schedules. And so when you, mm-hmm. when you don't revise your daily schedules, you, you miss out, you, you make it difficult to do the things that are important to you. So, for example, even mm-hmm. daily savings time. So are you going to get up early so you're going to be able to do your exercise? Like how are you going to time block? If you don't revise to fit the, the season, it's almost impossible to be as happy, productive, balanced as you choose to be. Mm, beautiful. I love that. It's it's so interesting to, to hear you share about this because I've heard about it from a positioning perspective out in the marketing and sales, kind of what you do on that side when you're sharing out. But I haven't ever heard anyone talk about looking at your own life and business patterns and how are you adjusting and purposely setting yourself up for success <laughs> and those things that matter to you as the season shift and change and those dynamics change. I think this is really, really powerful. So thank you. Yep. Thank you for sharing that. And and as we're in the summer season and we're getting ready to go into the fall, do you have some tips or insights of things to consider? Like I know the daylight savings time um you know, looking at that, being aware, it shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> Those kinds of things. <laughs> well, I find as we move into the summer, and again, I predominantly work with salespeople and entrepreneurs. And so mm-hmm. I hear how people are distracted. And I would have to say, Rebecca and Jane, that we are living in a world today with more distractions than usual in addition to the traditional summer distractions. And so my coaching, my advice is to look at those distractions and turn them into benefits. So, Mm. for example, if your kids have more sporting events, what are the benefits of that? So, again, I'm talking in terms of salespeople. They have more opportunities to be out, meet more people, get more leads, perhaps talk to more people about, you know, building relationships, more more in-person relationships. Um, Time management, if they're so distracted at the right time, what can you do about your health? So, Mm -hmm. the fact that perhaps it's sunny outside or the days are longer, can you turn that into a benefit that, hey, I can get up earlier and go out for my walk earlier or I can go out later in the sun so sunny, I can go for my walk. So turning these distractions into benefits 
whether it's in your health, whether that's in your relationships, whether that's in your career, whether that's in your creative expression. I mean, it's the attitude that we take into anything. So as we move into, so I'll give you a good example. So mm-hmm. through the pandemic last year, how many people said I gained my COVID-19, right? Like that's something, you know, a joke that we heard that a lot of people gained weight or lost their health or didn't make health a priority because of isolation and a variety of different reasons. And for, for me personally, and I'm not making anybody right or wrong and no judgment, but I looked at my isolation. I'm a single divorced woman, and I looked at my isolation and looked at it as, a benefit <laughs> that that this time that I was going to take this time to get as healthy, as strong, and as fit as I've ever been. It, when I could have just as easily gone in the other direction, and mm-hmm. so I really just think it's how we look at what's happening in our life and turn whatever those distractions are into benefits, and then act on those benefits in a way that's going to serve us. Beautiful, really, really great. Um, information to to help us um, and really looking at our perspective and looking at those changes as opportunities and um, how are we going to um, maneuver with them <laughs> instead of being surprised yeah. by them or stressed out by them or have feel like we're being pulled to many directions but really how can we weave it in and here's an opportunity or a season where I get to connect with people more in person now and build those relationships or here's the season I can do um, this and and um, have more opportunity for sun or, or whatever it may be I think is really powerful so do you have a, a final tip or piece of advice that we can take with us today as we're looking ahead at the the second part in the last quarter of the year coming up the last time of the year um, or as this last part of summer how can we really seize the day to um, shine brightly and powerfully any final tips or thoughts there yeah, well, you know, an exercise I like to do when it's mid-year, and even though we're just a smidge past mid-year, mm-hmm. by nature, what's going on in the world, I really recommend before we look forward, like who do I want to be, what do I want to do, who do I want to attract, what do I want to accomplish between now and the end of the year, I think before we set that list up, we got to look back. So mm-hmm. I recommend we look back to January and just identify with self-compassion, but honesty as well, where the areas in our life where we're doing well, so again, the major categories are in our health or in our relationships or in our career, in our creative expression, where are we doing well, life work balance, time for personal development, where are we doing well, and where are those areas where perhaps you've been playing small or you've been settling or you haven't reached for the high bar or you've just been in denial or making excuses. So where are we doing well, and where would we like to see a positive change? Once we have clarity around that, then we make the list. Okay, who do I want to be? Where do I want to go? What do I want to attract? What do I want my health to be like? What do I want my career to be like? What do I want my relationships to be like? What do I want my creative experience? Like, what do I want to, how do I want to shift? How do I want to shine my brightest as I move towards the rest of 2021 and that exercise it doesn't take a lot of time it just takes a lot of courage and it mm. takes self-compassion and it takes honesty and once you have clarity then you can literally make some shifts and really become that woman that you choose to be in all areas of your life mm. beautiful thank you so much for sharing and I love that important reminder of compassion um, but also, you know, honesty that we're really looking, <laughs> uh, but we have compassion and understanding and then we can choose um, where where we want to go. And I think that takes a lot of courage to look and to decide and to move forward. So I thank you so much for your information today, for your support, giving us another perspective in how we're looking at the seasons <laughs> and how we're looking back and ahead. I so appreciate it, Leslie. Thank you for joining us today. And listeners, we are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. So that's an opportunity for you to put into action some of these things that Leslie has been sharing about. So take these 
these next two moments to put down some of your thoughts in response to what she shared with us. And when we come back, we're going to let you know how you can go deeper with our amazing experts and a couple of final brilliant tips to help you shine. Look forward to talking to you in just a moment. a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. You can like and comment on the Voice America Empowerment Channel Facebook page. This is the place to get and share advice from some of the best leaders on the planet. Get started today by searching for Voice America Empowerment or click the like button under the player today. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to process and integrate and write down some ideas, maybe a new perspective as you're looking at the season or or how you're viewing the dynamics of what is pulling at you. I found that for myself, like I wrote down some things. So I take notes too, (laughs) as as we, um, as the show unfolds, because I'm always learning from the amazing experts as well. And um, some new perspectives and things that I got to add to my toolbox. So I hope that you as listeners had that same experience and are just continuing to grow those tools, resources, perspectives, mindsets that you're able to tap into in your life. Well, I wanted to take a moment as we're reflecting back on our time together today and give each of our guests an opportunity to just share a final thought, suggestion, tip, or idea to help you shine, to help you as you're getting ready to go back out in the world. And then I'm going to have them share where they can, you can access more information about them, connect in deeper, which I strongly encourage. Um, always connecting deeper with those experts that you feel an alignment with and a pull for. And then uh, both as authors, I'm going to have them share where you can get their books as well. So lots of ways to connect and go deeper. So with that, Jane, I'd love for you to share um, a final tip thought, suggestion, idea to support our listeners? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing is is your financial situation is never going away. It's going to be with you every single day. I mean, think about your interactions with money. They're probably daily. And, you know, whether it's paying the bills or, you know, getting groceries, doing a target run, Whatever it might be, but your interactions with money are happening all the time. And so starting to create a positive relationship with money rather than a negative one is just going to be really impactful and help you shine in all areas of your life. So that would be my my final takeaway. Beautiful. Thank you. Very important reminder. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah. And how, what a, what is the best way for people to to connect in and go deeper? And where can they find your book as well? Yeah, so my website is www.elegantwealth, and elegant is spelled with two L's, so E L L E G A N T W E A L T H dot com. 
in there, there is a financial wellness quiz that you can go take. That's kind of fun. You can find out if you're blissfully unaware, definitely distressed, casually curious, or financially focused. So we'll <laughs> take you through and give you some tips based mm-hmm. on where you're at. And, um, and then on my website, there's a signature offerings page, and I have an online course as well as um, do a variety of other offerings as well, so you can um, learn more. And then my books can be found on my website and also at Amazon.com and Barnes and & Noble. And the book is Financial Empowerment for Women, Your Guide to Courage, Confidence, and Wisdom. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Jane. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm excited about that quiz as well. So I encourage everyone and I love the names (laughs) (laughs) that you used uh, on them. Beautiful. Uh, Makes me curious of where where do I fall? (laughs) So um, I encourage everyone check that out and find out find out where you where you fall there and the tips that you get respectively will be will be great. So Jane, thank you for joining us today and sharing so um, richly with us. I appreciate it. And uh, Leslie, I'd love Rebecca for having me. Absolutely. It's been our pleasure. And Leslie, I'd love for you to share a final tip as well as the best way for people to connect in with you. I would say my tip, no matter who you are, what you do, where you are in your life, would be a commitment to personal development reading. 30 Mm -hmm. minutes a day of reading the type of material that will help you figure yourself out who you are, what you're thinking, what has to happen to get you stuck, what has to happen to get you lit up, what what drives you into action or what drives you into the fetal position. I mean, figuring yourself out, finding the courage to dig deep, I think that is the greatest tip and the greatest challenge and the key to ultimate happiness and success for everybody. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. And then what's the best way for people to connect in with you and where can they find your books? Uh, LeslieZan.com is my website. You'll find out all about me on the website. I'm very active on Instagram, Leslie.Zan. I do Facebook Lives on Monday and Tuesday mornings at 7 a.m. Pacific. That's Leslie Zan Consulting on Facebook Live. And then my book, Rebecca, Outrageous Achievement, they can find that on Amazon. It comes in print, Kindle, and I went into the recording studio and did the Audible so they can hear my energy and my laughter, and (laughs) it's a lot of fun. So I love it. I love it. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, so thank you thank so you. much for absolutely sharing with us. I love that you have it in all those formats and they get to carry your energy with them, which is beautiful in the audible format. I love that. And really great tip about carving out that time every day to figure ourselves out because we're going to be with ourselves for a long time. <laughs> So let's figure out how we work and what stops us and and how we can keep going to really become all all that we're called to be. So I think that's just brilliant advice. I appreciate it. And listeners, I want to thank all of you for leaning in, for joining us today and being part of the energy that happens when we all connect in together. And I hope that these tips and connections serve you powerfully. And here's a way to really take it to the next level. So for those of you like extra credit bonus opportunities, gold stars, those kinds of things, I encourage you take two minutes at the end of, sh- end of the show, two to five minutes, and just pause and breathe. Really take in, take a moment to reflect on the information and the insights that you received. Breathe them in deeply. Release what no longer serves. Breathe in what does. Write a couple of action items that you can take. And then as you're looking ahead at your day, be mindful and purposeful, not autopilot. Mindful and purposeful how you choose to step forward. Now that you have taken this in, processed on a cellular level, it's become part of you. How you now are navigating throughout the day, throughout the week, and throughout your life. Have an amazing week, everyone, and I will look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. 
Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel, with a replay on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and 1 p.m. Pacific on the Voice America Variety Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.